Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to check if a file exists on a file system using SSIS. So this is my profile, I have 13 plus years of experience on Microsoft Technologies. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how to check if file exists in SSIS and then insert a record into a SQL table that a, a file exists. So recently I got a question from Sai that and he asked that how to check like if a file exists or does not exist. So let's jump to the demo. So in my D files location, I got two files, customer.csv and employee.csv. So in case if a file does not exist, then an entry should be made to a SQL server table that customer.csv file does not exist or employee.csv file does not exist. And in case if a file exists, then you can use a data flow task and then you can write the code to import a file to a SQL server table. But in this video, I won't write the code. I will just use a data flow task and I will show you that if file exists, then the control will move to the data flow task. And if file won't exist, then the control will move to the execute SQL task where we will insert an entry into a table that this file does not exist. So in my SQL Server 2019 instance in the work database, I created a file info table. This table I also used in my last video and I will share the create table statement with you. So maybe you can use the, this particular table. So in this particular file info table, we have file ID which is of identity type and in the file name we can insert the entry like this file does not exist. In this video we won't be using this one. And the date is the current date timestamp. You can insert the current date timestamp into this particular column. So at the moment, this file info table is empty. So when we will check that if file won't exist, then we will insert an entry into this particular table. So let me just open the SSIS. So this is my Visual Studio 2019 instance where I will be writing the code. So to check if a file exists or does not exist, what we will do, we will use a script task. And in the script task, we can use a file class and there is a method there file dot exist so it can tell you if a file exists or it doesn't exist so before going that we need to create few ssis variables and the first variable i will create is file maybe i will call it as file one because i'm going to check two files for first file i will call the variable as file one and for second file i will call the variable as file two so the data type of the variable will be a string and uh, i need to provide the path here so maybe i can copy the path of the first file customer.csv and I can paste it here okay and now the second uh, variable I will declare is short file name so uh, in the script task we will get the file just file name without the file path into this particular variable short file name the data type will be string as well and now the last SSIS variable I will declare is 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 file exist so in the script task we will figure out whether the file exists or the file does not exist so the data type will be a string so it will contain just two values either yes or no okay so now let me just drag and drop the script task into the control flow window uh, and i will call this script task check if file exists all right now let me just right click and configure the script task Inside the read only variables, I will select file one because I will check if whether file exists or not. And in the read write variables, I will select is file exist and short file name because I will be assigning the values to the is file exist and short file name SSIS variables. I can copy the variable name from here and I need to click on edit script. Because you can see the script language is Microsoft Visual C Sharp, so the script editor will be opened up where you can write your code in the C Sharp.NET language. Alright, so I can write my code here because we are going to use the file class. So there is a namespace system.io that we need to add it. System.io input output. Alright, now what we need to do, I can just paste the file names here. And now the first variable we need to declare is file1. And we can get the value of file1 from dts.variables. And our variable name is file1 which contains the path of the customer file okay dot value dot to string now we simply need to write an if condition if file dot exist and we need to give the file path so the file path is right now available in the file one local variable so I can just write it and start the bracket else condition and then again the two brackets so if the file will exist then it will come inside this particular condition and if the file won't exist then it will come inside this particular condition 
so now I will declare a local string variable is file exist here uh, this is of a string type all right so I declared it here and in case if file exists then I will assign the value yes to this and in case if file does not exist then I will assign a value no to this okay so as soon as the control is passed this particular if condition an appropriate value to the is file exists will be assigned all right now I also need to assign the file name value the short file name value to the short file name SSIS variable so what I need to do I can just copy this one and I can copy the variable name from here and now I can assign so there is a class path dot get file name and I can just provide the file path here so file path exists in the file one so I can just provide the file path here and now only the file name from the file path will be assigned to the short file name exercise variable all right and now let me just assign the value from is file path local variable to the is file path SSIS variable so I can just copy the SSIS variable name here and I will assign the value from the local C sharp variable to it okay so this is the few lines of code and I will share this code with you now from this C sharp code we are just getting the file path from file one SSIS variable assigning it to a local variable now checking the file exists then assign the value yes to the is file exist and if file does not exist then assign the value no to the is file exist and then we are just getting the file name from a file path and assigning it to a SSIS variable short file name and then assigning the value is file exist to the is file exist SSIS variable now we can just close this one click ok now if file does not exist then we want to insert an entry into a SQL server table so we can call it like uh, file does not exist and we can just configure this particular execute SQL task maybe you can send an email as well that the file does not exist or maybe you can make an entry into the SQL server table so in the expressions you need to select SQL statement source and then you can write your code here I can write an insert statement here insert into file info select uh, for example you will write customer dot CSV file does not exist and the record count I will put as maybe 0 and the dated value I will put get date okay so I can copy this insert statement from here and I can paste it here but before pasting it I need to put a double quote paste the value here then end the double quote now for this customer.csv file we will get the value from the SSIS variable short file name because the value can change for another file so we can just drag and drop the short file name here and I will share this insert statement as well with you now click ok 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 now this is for the if file does not exist so what we need to do we can just double click on this one on the precedence constraints we need to select expression and constraints and now here we need to write a condition if file exist equal to no so if if file does not exist then we need to put an entry into the SQL server table and we need to select logical or here because we are going to add more code now let me just drag and drop the data flow task into the control flow window and we can just connect the check if file exists with the data flow task and uh, maybe you can load the data here load the data all right and maybe you can just double click and copy this particular code from here and then double click on the precedence constraints and select expression and constraints and paste the value here and now you can change the value from no to yes and click on logical or and click ok so if file will exist then we will load the data and if file won't exist then we will make an entry into the SQL server table so this is done for the first file so let me just execute the SSIS package so it went to the load the data because the file exists in the D files location and the value of the file is let me check this is customer.csv so for example let me just rename this file let me put maybe customer1 so now file does not exist so now this time uh, the control should move to the execute SQL task now let me execute the SSIS package and an entry should be made to the SQL server table so now you can see that the control moved to the if file does not exist task and I can check the value in the file info so an entry has been made that customer.csv file does not exist 
So this is for first file customer.csv. Now if you want to do the same thing for the another file like employee.csv then what we need to do we, we can just declare another variable file2 data type will be a string and now we can just copy the path from here I can copy from here paste the path here so this is fine now and now I can just copy the script task from here and then I can paste it and now we can connect these two tasks to each other and then we can just double click on the precedence constants and change from logical and to logical or click ok and now we can change the variable from file 1 to file 2 so I can just change it from file 1 to file 2 and inside the script as well we can just refer to the file 2 SSIS variable in this particular code you need to change the variable value from file 1 to file 2 and then you can just save it now you can copy paste these two tasks and this is for uh, employee.csv file so I can just connect it here and I can copy the code from here copy and I can just double click on the precedence constant change it to expression and constants paste the value here logical or ok and now I can copy the data flow task and paste it here and now I can double click on the precedence constants and can copy the code from here and then I can connect the script task with the data flow task double click the precedence constant change the evaluation operation to expression constants paste the value here and then I can set it to logical or click ok so all these things are done and and this task doesn't need any change so I think we are good here and now let me just test it with the current scenario and start the package alright so the customer.csv file does not exist so the control went here that the file does not exist and for employee.csv file because the file exists so the control went to the data flow task so you can add your code in, in the data flow task which can actually import data from a csv file to the sql server table and now let me just go back and check the data in the file info table so you can see that an entry has been made again that customer.file does not exist so let me just truncate this table for now alright and now let me just modify the name of the employee.csv file so that the file can be went missing I can put it like or maybe I can just delete this file okay so now employee file does not exist and even the customer file does not exist okay so both files are missing now and uh, the data in the file info is empty as of now so let me just execute the SSIS package again so this time it should meet an entry for the customer.csv file as well that file does not exist and for employee.csv file as well that the employee.csv file does not exist and let me check the data now so you can see that two entries made that customer.csv file does not exist and the employee.csv file does not exist so I think this is what we wanted from this particular video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video thank you so much